Hello. How are you, mister? I'm doing okay, Eduardo. Thank you. What about you? Well, that's saying okay, I was kind of desperate with my kids, you know. <laughs> uh, not 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 receiving classes that that kind of uh, they they get desperate, you know, they have nothing to do. Yeah. And, and what grade are they in? What grade? The old one is in fourth grade and the old and the young sorry. The the older is in fourth grade and the younger the youngest is in first grade. Okay, so they are like seven and ten years old? Uh, ten and six, yeah. Okay, ten and six. All right, good. So they are they can be doing nothing, you know. <laughs> they get desperate. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I have uh, my last two children. Uh, they are um, six years old and, and three and a half. And same thing, you okay. know. Uh, the, the little one, he doesn't go to school yet, but the other one, yeah. she gets like, my goodness, like, take me somewhere. So, yeah, exactly. All right, good. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, what is today's date? Today is Thursday. Yes, today. November. Is, uh huh. Fifth, fifth. Yes. Two thousand twenty. Exactly. It's Thursday, November fifth, two thousand and twenty. Do you guys remember yes, the topics we covered yesterday? Check your notes. Yes. <laughs> Jessica, Grace, Bersabe, Eduardo, <laughs> Francis. Vocabulary teacher. What kind uh, of vocabulary? Characteristic of um, person. Um, like gorgeous, industrious, okay. slender, mm -hmm. clever. Okay, and what kind of adjectives are those? Are they positive, negative? What are they? Mm, positive, positive. The... Right, and, and if you remember yesterday, uh, those were adjectives that we would use to be a successful person. Yes, okay. you're right. Okay, everybody. any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Related with those adjectives. Knowledgeable. 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 Any questions or comments? Oh, teacher. Okay. Uh, what else did we talk about yesterday? Uh, conversation in the newest in the place. Yes, uh, in the place, yes. Okay, and what kind of people were in that, uh, in that disco, in that club? Fashionable people. Fashionable, yeah, fashionable. Fashionable. Okay, uh, any, any guys with muscles? Yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, there was one in one. particular walking like this. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh-huh. How do you say creído or creída in English? Con? Um, con conceded. Con, conceded. Con, conceded. 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 Yes, conceded. Exactly, yes. So, uh, according, conceded, yeah. Yeah, according to the picture, some people in it, you know, they looked uh, conceded. 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 Yes. Okay. Any questions or comments? Mr. I have a question. I have a question. Yes, yes, Eduardo. I, 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 can, I, I can say because that, that, that word considered, I, I don't, I don't, I haven't heard that so much. It's okay. very, it's not, it's not so common, isn't it? Um, it's it depends, very common? Yeah, it depends where you, uh, the environment where you use the language. Considered, uh, some people also say stuck up, but stuck up is a little bit like yeah. A, yeah. a more street yeah. uh, term, but they refer to yeah, the same I thing. Yeah, I heard that. Exactly. Yeah, yes. I heard that. Yeah, so it depends where you're using the language. More, 
Yeah, conceit is more like, 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 like that is the like, real word. Say, like, that is the real word. Oh, oh okay. Yep. Okay. okay. Um, I, I, I can say, I can say, for example, that that man is very conceited. No. Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. Or you oh, said, yeah. oh, but my sister, she's acting very conceited because she has new shoes, for example. You know? uh, okay. okay. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, any questions or comments about yesterday before we start with today's uh, topics? No. No? Okay. Do you guys remember how to say uh, things that are related okay. with past models? Things? So, for example, this morning was very cold. No, it was rainy, it was cloudy. Um, so, um, someone tells you, no te hubieras bañado. How will you say that in English? You, uh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, take, you wouldn't a take a shower. Good. Taking a shower. You shouldn't have taken a shower. Shouldn't have taken a shower. Should not have, have, should not have, should not have. So remember, Take native speakers, they can also make double contractions. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have, shouldn't should have taken a shower. Shouldn't have. Should okay. So remember, when you're using past models, you use the model plus have, and the form of the main verb is always past participle. Right? How do you say me pude haber quebrado un hueso? Me pude haber quebrado un hueso. I could have broken a bone. Yes. Broken a bone. Could have. A bone. I could have broken a bone. Me pude haber quebrado un hueso. So imagine that you fall, your arm hurts, and they said, man, I could have broken a, a, a bone. Me pude haber quebrado hueso. Very good. So, I, 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 I could have. Could have. So I, you use the model plus, plus have plus the past participle of I the verb. Could have, I could have broken a bone. Uh-huh. So... You see the, the, the chat, you use model yes. yeah. plus have plus the past participle of the verb. Yes. So I could have, I could have break. I could have, I could have. I could have. Remember, uh, native speakers, they always use contractions. So they always make a contraction of model with have, could have, might have. Could have. Uh -huh. How do you say me pudiste haber invitado? Me pudiste haber invitado. You, you, you could have, have invited, invited, me. Invited, invited, uh -huh. invited me. You could have invited me. Yes. Okay. How do you say no le hubiera dicho nada a ella? You shouldn't talk. You, 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 you shouldn't have. have shouldn't told. have. Uh -huh. You shouldn't have told you her should, anything. You shouldn't have. You wouldn't say anything to her. her. Uh -uh. You shouldn't have told her anything. No le hubiera dicho nada. Or you wouldn't say anything have. to her. You wouldn't say that? No. Shouldn't yes, have. yes, you can say it. You can say, you wouldn't have said anything to her, yeah. but the message is different. Usted no le habría shouldn't dicho nada. No hay problema. No le habría dicho nada. So the message is a little bit different. Yeah. So you can, but it's a different message. Okay. Okay, so let me you shouldn't, show you this. You shouldn't, shouldn't. You shouldn't have told her anything. Have told her. Mm -hmm. How do you say you no have. hubiera venido? No hubiera venido. So imagine I... you go to a party and the party is very boring. So mm -hmm. you say to yourself, no hubiera venido mejor. I shouldn't you have shouldn't have. I, I should have come. come. Exactly. Come, I come. shouldn't have come. I shouldn't come. have come. I shouldn't have come. I shouldn't have come. I shouldn't have. 
come. Shouldn't okay. have come. Shouldn't have come. Shouldn't have come. Yes. Okay. Can you see the picture? Yeah. Okay. Yes. What do you see yes. in that yes. picture? Yes. What's there? Give me a description. Two person, a woman and a man. Okay. Probably waiting, waiting, waiting for, uh, someone. for someone. Okay. How do you know they're waiting for someone? How do you know? The yeah, girl, the girl is checking the, checking the, the time. Is yeah. Her watch. Yeah, she's, she's checking the time. Uh -huh. They look she's like upset, maybe. Her watch. Okay. Okay. Now, do you, you see? And the man is a little upset. I, I or maybe. Okay. What is the man wearing? What is he wearing? Uh, yeah. Bermuda and short. And okay, some shorts, maybe Bermuda. Tropical shirt. Uh, mm -hmm. In English, you call it Hawaiian. Hawaiian, Hawaiian shirt. shirt. Yeah, Hawaiian, Hawaiian shirt. shirt. What kind of shoes is he wearing? Uh, sandals. Sandals, exactly. What about the woman? She's wearing now. Uh, she's Casual wearing pants. Wear. Okay, she's wearing pants and. A uh, shirt, a uh, blouse. Yeah, a blouse, a shirt. Okay, good. A what? pink shirt. Yeah, a pink shirt, a pink blouse. What about the hair of the lady? What can you tell me about the hair of the lady? She's checking her watch. But the hair. Her hair. Ah, uh, the hair is blonde. Blonde. The hair is blonde. Is it long, short, medium? Is medium, I think. Has to be medium. Okay. How do you say colite macho in English? I don't know. Ponytail. 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 Can you write oh. it down? Ponytail. Let me write it in the chat. Ponytail. P O N Y. Like like pony, like the like the horse. P O N Y. Pony. Tail. 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 Ponytail. T A I L. T A I L, okay. Exactly. T A I L, ponytail. It's in the chat. Ponytail. ponytail. Okay. So people that have uh, long hair, they usually uh, wear uh, ponytails. Okay. Ponytail. What, is be what is behind the couple? What do you see behind? I think it's a, a uh, stuff. A barbecue. Uh, barbecue. Okay. So. How do you say parrilla in English? Real. Real. Yes. Yes. And of course, there is more people on the back. Okay. Any questions about the picture? Mm, no. So let's go to the conversation. The conversation. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, okay, yeah. can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you yes, now. right now, okay. yes. Okay. Yes, I can. Okay, how many people are there in the conversation? There are two. There two. Are there two. Are two. Yeah. Okay, so I need two volunteers. I need Jackie and I need Bill. I can be Bill. I, okay, yeah, very good. I can, okay. I can be Jackie. Jackie? Yes, Bersabe, you're Jackie. Okay. And Bill, who said it's going to be Bill? And me. Okay, go ahead. One, two, three. Remember, when okay. you see a, a question mark, your intonation has to be of a question. Uh, if you see an exclamation mark, your intonation has to be different too. When you see a period, you stop. When you see a comma, you pause. Let's go. One, two, three. You ask Beth to be here around seven. Didn't you? Yes. What time is it now? It's almost eight. I wonder what happened. Mm, she might have forgotten the time. Why don't you, why don't I call and see if she's on her, her way? A few minutes later. A few minutes later. Uh -huh. I got her voicemail. So she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. 
Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we would, we should start without her. Thank you very much. Nice. Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation or grammar structures? Which structures are they making mm -hmm. emphasis on? What are the structures that we're using in this conversation? Mm, I don't know, but past, they, past modal. Yes, past modal. Use, Sorry. Uh huh. Go ahead. They are using might. Uh huh. Uh, okay. What is what? What is the class of might? Uh, I don't know. Might could would. Models. Um, past models. Ah, models. models. Okay. Yeah, models. Yeah. Yes. So yes, they are mentioning models. But if you want to be more exact, you you should say past models because that's the structure that they are using here. So she might have forgotten the time. She, she must couldn't have, have forgotten. She couldn't have forgotten. Exactly. Right. So she might have forgotten the time. How do you say that one in Spanish? Where to put the here from? How do you say what? Ella Sorry? pudo haberse olvidado del tiempo. Ah, yeah. yeah. La hora y el tiempo. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Right. Para, para mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, and, and so she my... must not have turned on her phone. Yes, somebody has a question? Yes, me, teacher. Yeah. And when, when you use might have forgotten, uh, we can't use the contractive word. Yes, so... Might have. Yeah, no. Might have. Might have. Yes. Might've. So you remember, you're supposed to use contractions uh, any, any time that you're using uh, this particular structure, you say might have, could have, should have, would have, must have, uh, and, and, and all, all the others. So you use a contraction, yes. So mm. when the, 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 a few minutes later, when Bill talks back, he says, so she must not have turned on uh, her cell phone. How do you say that one in Spanish? Ella no debió haber encendido el teléfono. Exactly. So ella no debió haber encendido el teléfono. Because she got, uh, uh, he got the voicemail. Mm -hmm. Yes. Her car could have broken down. How do you say that one in Spanish? Su carro pudo haber arruinado. Yep. And she couldn't have forgotten. She couldn't Ella have no forgotten. pudo haberlo olvidado. Exactly. No pudo haberse olvidado. Exactly. Exactly. So as you can see, with the three um, structures of past models that we have, they always follow the same structure. So you always have the model plus have, and the verb that you're talking about has to be with the past participle uh form. Any questions? Uh, teacher, for me it's a little difficult to, to make the contraction in negative form. Okay. Um, in the in the last in the last part in the uh, when Jackie says no she couldn't have forgotten forgotten uh, uh, how have. is the contraction? Couldn't have couldn't have she couldn't have could forgotten. Enough. Could enough could for enough. that. Yeah, could enough. Could enough. Okay. Could enough. Could, could enough. enough. Yes. So could remember, a, 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 and that is good when you identify the structures that are giving you problems in terms of pronunciation. So mm -hmm. when you identify what part of, of pronunciation is giving you problems, you know, you should be uh, uh, you should be practicing as much as possible. Yes, thank you so much. Yes. Um, any know. other questions or comments? Good enough. Teacher, I am not sure about the expression she's on her way. It's like uh, no. uh, she's on her way, ella va de camino. Ah, okay. Thanks. Yeah. Where where is that is that expression here? Um 
the first in part. The fourth, fourth part. Um, yeah, why don't I call in she, if she's on her way? ¿Por qué no la llamo y miro si ya viene de camino? Yes. Oh, okay. yeah, and you know, when uh, now that you're asking that, uh, when someone is, mm -hmm. is texting you or something, okay, so you usually send those three letters. What is yeah. the meaning of those three letters? On my way. On my way. On my way. So they yep. call and said, hey, where are you? We're waiting for you. He said, on my way. So, voy de camino. On my way. On my way. On my yeah. way. On my way. Yeah. And there are many um, uh, acronyms that people use every day, like this one here. On my way. Yeah. By the way. For your information and, and all those. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions or comments about this uh, conversation? Can we use as well the past model may? Sure, yeah. So so she may have gotten lost. Se pudo haber perdido, yes. So remember, you can always use may, I'm might, and lost. could, but if you analyze each one of them, um, could has more possibilities than may and may has more the second one of might but at the end the three express uh, possibilities well, most of them are less probable uh might uh, might might is might. the is is the the least uh, uh with possibilities so you have could may and might Okay. Yes. And remember that models, uh, sometimes they only have one function, but sometimes they have double function. So what is the function of might? We, uh -huh. Sure. More sure. Might. No, but what is the function of might? When do you use might? When you're, oh, possibility when you're expressing a possibility, exactly. And, and just that function, right? Yeah, only one. Now, what about may? May has double function. What are the two functions? Uh, permission. Asking permission, like for example, may I go to the bathroom? Exactly. And what's the other one? And possibility too. Yep, yep. And then we have could. Could has also a double function. What are the two functions? It's the past tense of can. The past tense of can. And express also a possibility. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, there, right there, may, might, and, and, and could, you know, that's a very clear example of, of how uh, the model sometimes has just one function and sometimes they have double function. Okay, mm -hmm. any questions or comments? Mm. No? No. Do you, no have, do you have any ideas why, they, uh, why the lady is uh, late? Have you, have you gotten to this part of the platform? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. So let me. Okay. No, but I must. Not, <laughs> but I should have. Should. Ah, should have. Okay. 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 So let me. Um. So we got these here. Okay. We got these examples. Okay. Can you see uh, my screen? Yes. Yes. All right. So. Uh, models for degrees of certainty so it's almost certain now what is the meaning of certain uh, for food, what is the meaning they, of certain um, like, no. okay so certain means like it's very very possible it's very very possible so uh, the first example says she must have left already. She must have left already. How do you say that one in Spanish? 
ella ya se debió ella haber... debe haber ella, ella debe haber salido, haber salido ya, ya. Yeah. ella debió haber salido ya good uh -huh. so imagine you call her house there is no answer and no one knows where she is so you say man she must have left already the second example says she must not have turned on her cell phone how do you say that one ella Instagram? no de ella no debió haber encendido su teléfono mm -hmm. exactly so you call the person and and it sends you to the answering machine so you know that the cell phone is not is not on so you make that uh, conclusion so then we go to the section that is it's not possible she couldn't have been at home she couldn't have been at home how do you say that one in spanish Ella no pudo haber estado en casa. Ajá. No pudo nice. haber estado en casa. Nice. And now we go with the examples where they express possibility. She may have, she might have forgotten the time. She may have, she might not have remembered the time. And her car could have broken down. Any questions there with these examples? It's uncertain. No. It's not possible. It's possible. It's possible. Okay, so let me. Um, they suggest. Okay, where's the chat? Okay. It says Your best friend is in a bad mood. I have a question of, of yes. uh, about the platform. Yes. Do we have to do the activities? Uh, but uh, when we watch the video, we have to, to put something in the dialogue. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, you have to do um, what you are asked to do. So if the instructions tell you, listen to the audio or watch the video and answer these questions, you are expected to do it, yes. Okay, uh, for example, there is, uh, they put us on a conversation and the, the lady who's talking said, uh, what kind of um, uh, things do you need, do, do you need that, that the restaurant uh -huh. What kind of things do you have? What kind of things do you need? Do you think that the, the restaurant need to improve? Okay. For example, I, I, can you it, you have to write it in the in the discussion log? For example. Right. You have to, to to write it, or just you can next the the you have you okay. can next uh, the. Yeah. Uh, some exercises, you know, like if they are in the platform, and they ask you to do it, you should do it. Now, okay. there are some others that they're like optional. I mean, it's good that if you do it, but they're not evaluated. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, any other questions or comments? No. Okay. Can you see the two scenarios that I'm sharing in the chat? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Can somebody please read the first one? Your best friend is in a bad mood. Okay. So your best friend is in a bad mood. And can someone read the second one? Your brother is short with money again. Okay. So your brother is short with money again. So uh, let me send you a picture of that, uh, of those two scenarios. I will assign you to working pairs so you guys can uh, practice your past uh, models. Let me see this here. Create rooms, add a room, and here we go. So based on those two examples, uh, practice your, uh, your past models structures. It's loading right now.
Let me see if I can chat. There is someone. I think it's coming, right? Teacher uh, is with us. Yes, I Hello. think. Hello. Sure. Wait, yes, Alex, we have a question. <laughs> what is the question? We don't understand. What did you say? Okay, so you, you have say? so you have two different scenarios. So your best friend is in a bad mood. So, okay. So the idea is that you give your opinion about why your best friend is in a bad mood. So maybe uh, you can say, ah, pudo haber recibido malas noticias. How will you say that in English? O él debió haber terminado con su novia o su novio. O probablemente le dijeron que solo va a durar 15 días más en el trabajo. So you... Like he should broke... She, he should have broke, broken with her girlfriend. Okay, for he example. could have. Could have. He could, he could have. have. Could he, have could have, broken. he could have broken up with his girlfriend. Yes. He could. Right. Ah, okay. Pudo. Okay. Yeah. Pudo haber terminado con su novia. Exactly. Ah, uh, okay. No, no, I got it. Okay. Good. Nice. Thank you. All right. For help. Hello, Grace. Hello. Hi, teacher. Uh, fine, <laughs> but we are, we have no idea what to do <laughs> with oh, the exercise. Okay, did you receive my image in the chat? Yes. Okay, so I, I send you two different scenarios. So your, your best friend is in a bad mood. So yes. you're supposed to say things like, oh, pudo haber terminado con su novia. O eh, debió haber recibido noticias malas. So, any opinion that comes to your mind, but you need to use past models uh, structures. Um, okay. Right, right. So, uh, feel free to give your opinion about uh, pudo haber perdido el trabajo, debió haber... Uh, olvidado algún dinero, eh, se pudo haber visto con su ex, I mean, anything, but you must use the past model structure. Okay. okay. Thank you. Right, okay, no problem. Teacher, yes. Uh, I'm not sure about the second sentence. I don't understand the idea. Okay, so your brother is, which is short of money again. He's broke. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you said, ah, debió haber ido a apostar anoche, mm -hmm. o se lo, de, se, se, lo, se lo pudo haber bebido su dinero. I mean, your opinion can be uh, in different forms. Just make sure that you're using the past participle of the verb. I mean, the, the, okay. the past models, sorry. Yep. Okay, thank you. All right, good.
time is it now? It's almost eight. I wonder what happened. Hmm. She might have forgotten, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else for the night. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. What time was Beth asked to come? What time is it now? What does Will decide to do? Why can Will contact Beth? What do they decide to do? After answering all of those questions, now listen to the rest of the conversation and find out what happened to Beth. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. If your best friend is, a, is, in, a, is in a bad mood, may well, I don't know. If your best friend is in a bad mood, maybe he lost his, no, I already say that. Maybe he lose his money, his, his key. No, okay, say. so how do you say, él debió haber perdido sus llaves o su dinero? He must lost his keys. He must have. He must have. He must lost, have. Lost his uh -huh. keys. His exactly. Keys. His keys. He must have lost his money. Mm -hmm. He must have. Okay. So your brother is short with money again. Why do you think your brother is short with money? Uh huh. Maybe he could he could forgotten save some money. <laughs> okay, good. He could have forgotten he could have. To save money. He could yes. Have. Right. Right. Okay. Yes. Or how do you say el debió haber ido a algún bar anoche? He must go to, to a bar yesterday. He must have he must have gone. gone Exactly. To a bar yesterday. Exactly. He must have gone to a bar yesterday. Good. Very good. All right. Let's go back to the main session. All right. All right. Welcome back. I like that exercise. Right. So, you know, when they give you uh, an, a specific scenario, people are, are free to give their opinions. You know, just make sure that you're using the past models. So with the first one, your, your, your best friend is a bad, in a bad mood. Oh, uh, lo pudieron haber despedido. Debió haber perdido un dinero. Eh, le pudieron haber dado malas noticias. So your opinion can be very different. Uh, and, and, and just make sure that when you give your opinion, you're using the past models uh, structures. Any questions? Maybe, maybe his favorite football team might have lost the game. Exactly. Maybe his favorite football team might have lost the game. Exactly. So if you know that your friend takes it very personal when it comes to sports, that's a possibility. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Any other comments or questions? No? Okay. So let's listen to the audio of the rest of the conversation that we were practicing at first. Let me share this here. Share computer sound. Mm -hmm. All right. Pay attention. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Can you hear the audio? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good. good. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Just we can. Okay, good. Thank you. What happened? Oh, here comes Beth now. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. I had an emergency. Oh, nothing serious, I hope. 
Well, kind of. It was Sally. Sally? Your dog? What happened? Well, <laughs> I was just about to leave when she started acting strange. Then she just passed out. Oh, my gosh. I panicked. I thought she had died at first. I had to rush her to the emergency clinic. But is she okay? Oh, I hope she's all right. Yeah, she's going to be fine. The vet said it was some kind of virus. So he gave her an injection, and I had to leave her with him. I'll go by later and pick her up. Oh, but guess what? What? She's going to have puppies. Congratulations. You're going to be a grandmother. <laughs> very funny, Bill. Yeah, Bill. Very funny. All right. So, why was she <laughs> absent? Why, well, actually, yeah. why was she late? She had, she had an emergency. An emergency. With her dog. She, she had an emergency Probably with her dog. Okay. She thought, she thought uh, that she pet was uh, sick. Okay. Right. So, uh, and what was the outcome at the end? Was the dog really sick? No. She uh, no, exactly. Not. She will have puppies. She to have puppies. Exactly. Yes. So the dog is getting ready to have puppies. That is correct. Okay. And, and what is the man's expression at the end? Congratulations. She is going to have a That's grandma. Fine. A grandma. Right. right. Yeah, you know, like when you have pets at a home, you know, uh, uh, they are considered to be part of the of the family. 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 Yeah. Right? So they said, oh, this is my baby. You know, I love him so much and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Any questions or comments? No. no. Okay. So that's how pass out is when you, uh, when someone's just... Uh, this is Maya, right? Yes, sir. Ship. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, pass out. Okay, so I or think can... it was uh, something like pass away. Yeah, pass away <laughs> is, is is different. Pass out is like yeah. you know, you know, so so my my cousin he was so drunk that he passed he passed out. Yeah, so like uh, okay. he fainted. Yes. All right. So let's do some more exercises here. Um, you have the first one. Jane is in a terrible mood today. Which one do you think is correct? But probably she could have had a fight with her boyfriend. Okay. Oh, or well, she, she she must not have, have gotten enough sleep. sleep. Right. Yes. Let her be is possible. Uh, what about letter C? No, because is he? Yeah, right, right, yes. She could have had a fight with her boyfriend. Is that possible? Yes, it could be. Yes. Yeah, it's possible. Yes, it could be. Yeah, all right, good. <laughs> yeah, so it's not only an example, but it happens in real life, you know. So, okay, uh, number two, Brian got a call and looked worried. He couldn't have heard good news. Ah, uh, no, 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 sorry, no. Let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah that, he couldn't have yeah. heard good news. Uh, yep. Letter ah, F is possible. He might. He, might. he couldn't have no. heard good news. I don't know. Right. I mean, letter C? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Letter C, letter C too. Okay. Letter C is not probably. Yes, yes, you're right. I can no. see it. Right, right. So letter, letter F is the best F. option. Mm -hmm. Yes. He couldn't yes. have heard good uh, news. Mm -hmm. Good. That yes. is the one that matches uh, more closely with the original statement. So then you have number yes. three. The teacher looks very happy today. What do oh, you think happened? He, he may have, have gotten a raise. He may have gotten a raise, mm -hmm. raise. yeah. He may have gotten a raise. Uh -huh. Any others? Only oh, that one. No. Just that one. Okay, raise is when they increase your salary. Ah, okay. Pudo haber agarrado un aumento. Yes. 
Okay, number four. Maura couldn't keep her eyes open. Oh, she must not have gotten enough sleep. Mm -hmm. She must not have. She must not have. No, how, how is it in, in the contraction? Uh, okay, she must. Must not have. 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 Must Right, teacher. Yeah, sure. Must must not have done his work on time. Must must not have. Must 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 enough. Must enough. Must enough. <laughs> must enough. Okay. It's yes. better. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, must enough. Must enough. Must enough. Okay. Must enough. Okay. Must what enough. about number five? Jeff was fired from his job. Oh, he might he might not have might done, have his, done work his work on work time. On time. Okay. He time. better see on time. Okay. Uh yeah, that's Okay, right. So number six, my cousin is short of money again. <laughs> she must have spent too much last month. Yes. One more time? Uh, no. Yes, she, she must have, have spent, spent too much, too much last, month. last month. She must have she spent too much, much last month. month. She must have spent too much last month. Last month. Yes, last exactly. Month. Exactly. All right, good. Any questions or comments? No. Okay, so let's talk about um, the situation that we have in El Salvador currently. So oh. if we about look- the storm? Uh, uh, in general. So okay. how, how would you use uh, past models uh, to talk about how we could have improved our country. So think about all the mistakes we have made all this time. How can we solve or how we could have solved those, those mistakes or those problems? How do you say hubieran invertido en educación? They should have, uh, should they have they invested, should have invested, invested in education. In education. They should have, okay. They should they have should invested have. more in, in education. Okay. They should have invested more in education. Or education. Invest. How do you say ellos pudieron haber implementado la pena de muerte? They, they could have, have, have implemented, implemented the, the, death the, the, the death penalty. The death penalty. Yes. So you say they could have implemented the death penalty. Yes. Mm. Okay. Death penalty. Right. Now, how, how do you say uh, lo, los pudieron haber enviado a prisión? They could have sent them to the prison uh, or okay. jail. Okay. They could so, have have sent could them have. to prison. Yes. They could have sent them to prison or jail. They have or the jail. same meaning. What's the difference uh, with prison and jail? Okay. Uh, prison is un penal. Jail is like a police station. Okay. So uh, mm -hmm. when, when you go to prison, El bote. because you already have <laughs> a, a sentence. So we condemn the uh, Carlos Ernesto Gutierrez, Sanabria, whatever, to five years in prison. So when you have a sentence, you go to prison. Yes. Okay. Prison. All right. Any questions or comments? Questions or comments? No? Okay. So we're going to stop here right now. Remember that we have a classes tomorrow. Don't disappear. <laughs> no, teacher. We will no, think teacher. about it. <laughs> so change change your agenda for Friday night. You said okay.
<laughs> I think it's going to disappear. My, you don't want a teacher. My agenda has to be the. I will try. Okay. <laughs> So you guys have Thank a good you. night, and Thank I'll be you. seeing you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 So bye. 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 Bye.